Okay, so you might wonder, you know, like how to really do um, some easy keyword research these days with the new keyword planner of Google. And um, I made a short video for you. And what I use is a very interesting uh, program called Keyword Researcher. This is version 8.30. Uh, this is not my program. I'm not affiliated to it. Um, um, I, I got to test it uh, in the beginning stages, and um, because I tested it, I kept uh, a license. I think it's about thirty dollars. It's like really cheap, and it's a really, really, really nice program. And it works basically with, uh, as you can see here, asterisk, um, this little symbol here, and um, how to make a. And then basically what it will do is it will pull up all kinds of keywords from Google. And you can select here which Google you want. There's like many. What I don't like about a lot of other uh, keyword research programs is that, you know, like it's either google.com, google.ca and maybe UK. And that's about it. But you can practically... I mean, Russia, Italy, Poland, whatever, wherever you are, you know, you, you, you can use this program. So, <clears throat> I have uh, three search queries here. So, just let's let's just run it. So, I, 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 I push play, and then you see that it's going to get all kinds of keywords here. And uh, <clears throat> now it's going to do number two. So, it runs three queries. Now... It now starts with the third query, and <clears throat> there's about three seconds left, and here we go. So now it's done, and it found 400 keywords for me, and I can add it to the master list. I can say clean up, and then it leaves 350 keywords. Now I can do this with many, many, many <clears throat> search queries, and you can see here on the left, like, how camera, how to... A camera, how does a camera blah? How do cameras blah? Um, you can you can say here, you know, like singular, plural, region, uh, the year, of course. This would be now 2014. Um, <clears throat> and then you can <clears throat> build like a huge, huge keyword list. And then what you do is you just copy this. And now I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna log into my AdWords. Uh, accounts to go to the keyword planner and then I'll show you how you can find the search uh, quantities for these keywords so I'm gonna pause the video now and then I will be back in a sec okay so now I'm in my AdWords environment and then I go to the tools and analysis keyword planner I was already there I think okay fine and then I say get search volume for a list of keywords a group them into ad groups. I put down, uh, I, I basically uh, put uh, my keywords in uh, this list, then I can set up which locations I want, in this case I just want all locations, but as you can see here you can, you know, you can put in a country, a city, a region, whatever, and then I just say get search volume. Then it uh, might say here we found an error that you may want to fix, click to see it. Basically, if the search query is too long, uh, Google says, yeah, okay, fine, you know, we don't even gonna bother to even find it. Or it has some wrong symbols. But it doesn't really matter because it just skips them. So, um, and then here we have the ad group ideas. And uh, here we have the keyword ideas. And here, so here you can, you know, you can select by average monthly competition, etc. How to take a screenshot, for instance, is 90,000, more than 90,000. And the competition is very low. And um, etc. etc. How to make a website, 74,000, and the competition is high. But this is how you can then, uh, <clears throat> with this simple keyword researcher, and dump this, you know, like if you have 2,500 or 10,000 if you have them in a file you can basically do keyword research sort of the old way of course it's you know set up differently 
and Google made some changes uh, to the way you can find the search volume. But anyway, this is like as close as it gets to the old way of keyword research, and I just wanted to show you. Okay, that was it.